Howdy everyone, welcome to a Monster Hunter discussion video. In this video, I'll be talking about monsters I would like to see returning. This is part two of, of basically an interesting series of where I just talk about what I would like to see, what I would lo not like to see, and feel free to go in the comments and, and type what monsters you would like to see return. Obviously, in this list, I'll be mentioning things I would not mind, things I would mind or not like altogether, but, you know, what if a monster I don't like appear in the in Monster Hunter 6? Is that the end of the day, end of the world? No, it's not. It's, it's just something I have to get used to and move on. That's it, you know? Uh, so, let us begin. Anteka. Now, regardless of how, however you pronounce this beast, I did not like what they did when it came to, um, when it came to, well, no, Icebawn. Because Icebawn really neutered this monster, uh, this monster. This guy could barely attack you. He barely got aggressive in Icebawn. It's not fair. And I said this in my previous video. It seems like the small monsters in World and Icebawn were very much only to be meat, and that's it. That's literally it, meat for the large creatures. That's not a bad thing, but it's like, come on. Give us, give us more than just meat. They are more than that. They're supposed to be annoying, aggressive, time to time. So give us that. At least Rise respected some of the small monsters, so that's kind of cool. But, uh, World and Icebawn barely did that, you know? <laughs> now, I would like to see them return. I, well, I won't really mind, to be fair. But I would rather have, like, more snow herbivores, to be fair. Because they are mostly found in snowy regions. So I'd like to see these guys found in, a, like, okay, obviously, I would like to see these guys in the snowy regions, obviously. Um, but I'd rather see these guys not found in the next game, or not seen in the next game. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm even saying now at this point. Am I even making sense? Am I even making sense? I'm sorry. What a strange start. Okay, to be brief, I won't mind, but I'd rather see newer versions of this monster. Or maybe newer family members, or altogether, new herbivores that fit in the, in the snowy environments. Blango. <sighs> the snowy ape. Now, these guys are paired with, the, with uh, Blangonga. Now, they're barely featured in Monster Hunter games, which really sucks because they're such a cool monster. They are small monsters. They're very annoying. What else can I say about them? They're absolutely annoying. I like them because, you know, they throw snow at you. They, they charge at you. And the way they charge at you is freaking terrifying. You must see these monsters in action. It's sad that they did not have that much time in the game, in many games. But you know what? I'm happy because that means future installments can bring them forward. Uh, so I would like to see Blango make a return, but only if with its uh, larger counterpart. Shianata. Now when it comes to the daimyos and the shoguns and even the smaller juvenile versions of those crabs, I'd rather see new crabs instead. You know, I'd rather see new crabs instead. There's nothing wrong with the, these old crabs, but let's be real. I would like to see that specific species of Caropicions, um extended. Because I don't want, just only want to sit with Daimyo and Shianata over and over. I would like to see newer, newer family members, you know? Newer crabs. I would like to see that. That's so awesome when you, when you add more new stuff. I'm all for more new content than returning, to be fair. But if I had to pick returning, to be fair, I'd rather ha let him take a break. To be fair, the crabs. Plus we have them in, you know, as much as I miss them in World and Ice Pod, at least we have them in... Rise, uh, no, no, not Rise, Sunbreak, just Sunbreak. Conga, now, they are featured in plenty as well, uh, compared to other monsters, but uh, what I like about them is that they were pretty annoying, uh, you know, and I was disappointed that they weren't in Sunbreak. I would not mind seeing them, but as long as we get Conga Lala, the, uh, the leader of the pack, now we have Guy Prey. Guy Prey and and its leader, Guidrome, they barely are in the in the Monster Hunter series. As I said in the previous time. Make uh make new uh small bird wyverns, raptor versions, make new make new ones, please. I would love to see new packs 
with, with new creative ideas. Nothing wrong with bringing returning, but I'm all for new stuff. I would not be disappointed if Guy Prey and Guy Drum make made a return, mostly because there were very much so little in the series. Great Thunderbug, please bring them back. As I said with the, with Shianitar, make new crabs. Popo, I don't mind Popo, but in in Rise and Sunbreak you can barely you can barely fight them. They run away too fast. In the old games, yes, they would run away, but at least at least at least that one would fight you. In in uh, in Rise and Sunbreak, I don't think they fight back, which is disturbing. Um, but they run way too fast compared to the old games. It's so hard to get a hit on them, on them. You know, it's so hard to get a hit on them. So I, I rather have, I rather have them to be normal. You know, <laughs> like how they were presented in Iceborne was perfect because some of them fought back. So I like that. You know, and you still had a chance in, on killing them because they never disappeared so swiftly. You know, uh, Romobra, I don't mind. You know. But okay, going back to Popo, I rather have more snow herbivores as well to fill in that blank if we don't get Popo. Shakalaka, I'm totally fine with them returning. Uh, they had such a little appearance. They're basically a tribe of felines. But as I said in my previous video, make new feline tribes. Make more of them. Make more of the feline species. Extend that. I'm all for creative stuff. So I won't mind this monster. Blangonga, yes, bring Blangonga, please. Bulldrome, only if Bullfine goes out there and vice versa. Please bring this monster back. Kongalala, yes, absolutely. Daimyo Ermitor, you know, we have them in uh, in Sunbreak. It's fine if you don't get them in the next game. But I would, I would like to see newer crabs. Guidrum, I won't really mind, but give us newer raptors instead. King Shakalaka, okay, but as long as the regular Shakalakas are there, then that's fine. But it's a high chance they might not bring King Shakalaka. Unless he's some kind of background character. Rajang, give this monster a massive break. Shen Gaoren, now I, I know I said with the crabs, uh, they should take a break. They should take a massive break. But this crab should not take a break. Now, compared to the other crabs like Shogun and Daimyo, where they could be fought in regular environments, Sh Shen Gaoren is not fought in a regular environment. It's fought in in a for in some kind of fortress or something like that. Not not a normal locale. He is a large crab, and he uses the skull of a Lao Shan Long on his back. That's basically it. He's just a large crab. He's so big. I'm not even joking. I would like to see him return. You know. Uh, Shogun, as I said, newer crabs, but for, for Shen, I'd rather see newer, newer, uh, no, 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 oh my goodness, I'm mixing up my stuff, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, this is what happens when he talks too much, you mix up everything, when, when Shen, with Shen, bring him back, with the rest of them, with Shogun, okay, uh, with Shogun, not Shen, with Shogun, uh, you know, do, you don't have to, you know, because, I won't mind, but I'd rather have newer newer crabs instead. But for Shen, I'd rather see him return because he barely had any time in Monster Hunter in the series. Camellius, I won't mind seeing him. But here's the thing about these a lot of the regular Elder Dragons. They just fill the blanks and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'd like to see a bit more Elder Dragons, a bit more newer ones altogether. You know, not not necessarily relying on the old, but necessarily focusing on the future. I don't mind if there's one or two returning Elder Dragons, you know, but I'd rather have more of a complete set. But I won't mind Camellias. I think Ushala and Rusted. Okay, Rusted has barely been in Monster Hunter, in Monster Hunter games. But if they're going to bring Kushala, they should bring Rusted as well. When it comes to Kushala, um... Just, just a regular version. I think we should take a break. I think she should take a break. Lunastra has barely been seen in multiple games. I would not mind. I would not mind if we get a game without uh, Tiostra, just Lunastra only. I would love that, you know, because it is said that even though you know Lunastra and Tiostra are basically the male and female version of their species. 
they aren't necessarily seen traveling together that much, or am I mistaking certain things together? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. Let me check the law. This is why it's best to use the wiki. By the way, this video is not sponsored by the fandom. I'm just spreading the message. Uh, basically, the female counterpart. Uh, so, you know, she's pretty much strong. I, I'd rather have her instead of Tiostra sometimes, you know? Uh, White Fatalis, yes. Yamatsukami, absolutely. Akanto, give him a break. <laughs> Tigrex, now this is an interesting uh, monster. I would say give him a break. I've seen him way too many times. He's been in the series way too many times. You know, once again, Monster Hunter Freedom 2 was my first ever Monster Hunter game. Tigrex was its flagship. And let me just say, I don't want to see... I don't want to see him that much in the series, mostly because he's just become a regular, you know? Once was such an interesting monster, now such a simplex monster. Copper Blangonga. Now, these are mostly for the G-Rank stuff you can easily skip over. But when it comes to, like, regular monsters besides the subspecies... Now, once again, it's very rare of them to throw, like, a plethora of subspecies in the base game. They might have, like, one or two and that's it. So, for them to have, like, all of them will be a bit ridiculous, to be fair. But if they have subspecies, they should bring copper and emerald. Not furious, because I don't want... I don't want... I don't want Rajang. Now, you may be thinking, what if they can just bring a variant or a subspecies without its regular counterpart? I think that only worked well for uh, Crimson Glow Velstrax, because they needed the theme. If you don't know, Rise and, and Sunbreak were strict on themes. Not just when it came to the new monsters, but specifically uh, the returning cast as well. So they could not just bring regular Valstrax, they decided to make a variant and that's basically it. That's it. It made sense for the theme. So I hope I hope Capcom is not so strict with Monster Hunter 6 on its themes, because I would like to see a lot more monsters from multiple generations reappear, but at the same time I would like to see more new concepts as well, you know? Um, what am I even saying? All I'm trying to say is that we, we couldn't get, could not get most of the other monsters because they were so focused on themes when it came to Rise and Sunbreak. Nothing wrong with following themes, especially when it came to its story or when it came to its new monsters. But when it came to its returning cast, it tried very hard to focus on... It tried very hard to focus on uh, a lot of these monsters that matched folklore. That's why we could not really get a lot of the other monsters, you know, that's why we did not get um, Gravios or what else, like a plethora of other monsters, which, you know, it's not a bad thing, it's just that I feel that it's a bit more restrictive. I hope not all Monster Hunter games follow such a strict theme, you know, I hope maybe Monster Hunter 6 is very, very open with what type of monster they want, you know, and not necessarily be secluded to to just follow a strict theme. Maybe with the new monsters, I don't mind, but when it comes to returning, I don't mind whichever generation, whatever whatever the monster was inspired from, I don't mind. I just want, I just want to see those monsters and hunt those monsters, you know? So, we're not gonna get furious, because, well, I don't, I don't know to be fair. Something, something, something in my mind tells me that Furious and regular Rajang is not going to come in the in Monster Hunter 6. <laughs> I, I hope so. But I don't know. I feel like Capcom may give them a break, which is good. Hypnocatrius, I won't mind if it returns, but I feel like, I feel like now they're going to be bringing a lot of... A lot of, uh, gener no, no, not, not generations. Frontier, sorry, I mixed those names up. Frontier, they will bring up a lot of Frontier stuff, but that's mostly for future games, right? Right now, I, right now, I believe that they worked, this, oh, hold on, my hand is hurting. I believe that they worked, started to work on 6 around, let's just say, maybe 2020. Maybe they had some conceptions around 2019 in the background while they were working with Iceborne. But at the end of the day, 
I feel like they were working on this game for years. They did not just start when, when they finished updates for, um, for uh, uh, Icebone. I feel like they started long before that and it seems that they're, they're heavily working. They're heavily working on Monster Hunter 6, which is pretty cool because we might get it next year. So I'm just saying, okay, uh, so the, the idea of bringing Frontier Monsters could be both a, uh, the, the main team and the portable team's idea, but I feel like most more Frontier Monsters might come in its G-Rank expansion. Who knows? Uh, but I feel like most of the stuff is already done anyways, so, you know, maybe now with the inclusion of Espinas in Sunbreak, you know, and the fans reacting very well to Espinas, I would say that, um, I would say that, you know, maybe for its G-Rank counterpart, which they may be planning now, uh, or maybe having concepts now, um, I feel like it might have a lot more, a lot more Frontier stuff. Levisiat, I don't know, I would like to see, a, like, another Lava Leviathan. Nargakuga, give this monster a break, too. When it comes to Plum and Terror, I don't know, to be fair. Once again, I feel like if only if the if the or original versions were there, then they would appear. But as I said, I want new crabs, so, yeah. You can lost, give it a break. Vespoid Queen, if you're gonna bring the regular Vespoids back, bring the Vespoid Queen back. And I mentioned with Yian Garuga, I think in the previous one, uh, I think we should take a break with the Yians and and just focus on, I don't know, it's, it's weak cousin, because that's much more fun. But that's just me. Anyways, the next video is gonna be about third gen, uh, and I haven't played or got that much into third gen, so there's a lot I don't know about. So I have to make a lot of, a lot of, a lot of interesting predictions and whatnot. But anyways, have a good day.